I wonder where that little cutie can be hiding out in our tent fort. I wonder where she could be. Oh, I see some little toes. I found you. <laughs> you found me. Yes, good hiding, Pearl. Grandma, I was thinking, is there anywhere we can hide that God doesn't see us? No, God is everywhere. Even if we went to the last star in the whole universe, God would still be there and caring for us. That reminds me of a true story from the Bible where a follower of Jesus named Peter was locked in a prison. None of his friends could help him, but God knew exactly where he was. I even have some craft stick puppets to help tell you this story. Would you help me? Sure. Here, you hold Peter between the guards. But Peter was a good guy. He was a follower of Jesus. Why would anyone put him in a prison? Well, some people didn't like Jesus, and they didn't want to believe in him. So they were angry when more and more people started believing in Jesus. They came together and made the very first church ever. Peter was the leader of the church, and God was doing many amazing things through him. Wow, that must have been very exciting. Yes, but the people who didn't like Jesus decided to throw Peter in prison, even though he didn't do anything wrong. That's not fair. <laughs> You're right. But there was still nothing Peter's friends could do to help him. He was stuck in the prison. That's when Peter's church friends decided to pray hard for Peter while he was in prison. They prayed for hours and never gave up. That must have been so hard for Peter. Yes. I'm sure it was. Peter fell asleep while he was chained between those two guards. That's when God sent an angel to free Peter. Here, Pearl, take this angel. Quick, Peter, get out of here. Peter looked down and all of his chains had fallen off. He put on his shoes and walked right out of the prison. At first, Peter didn't know if he was dreaming or if this was real. But the angel disappeared, and he was standing in the street, and he knew it was real. Peter went to the house where his friends were praying. Hey guys, it's me, Peter. At first, Peter's friends didn't think it was real. A servant girl named Rhoda heard Peter at the door. She was excited and praising God. Hey, aren't you going to let me in? Everyone was so happy and amazed to see Peter. God heard their prayers and showed that he is powerful and faithful. Pearl, even though it has been a long time since then, God still hears our prayers and helps us. That's why even today we come to God with our prayers because God hears our prayers for others.